All right, in problem nine, we've got an um, aircraft with a wing uh, area of 27 square, um, square meters. Um, we know the mass of the aircraft, um, 1,500 kilos. And, um, and, and what velocity, the question is, what velocity does it need to reach on the runway to gain enough lift for takeoff? Now, this ignores ground effect. So what we're after is at what point is the lift the same as the weight, right? the same as the weight and so let's 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 look again at at Bernoulli's equation where we had pressure below minus pressure above is one half rho velocity above squared minus one half rho velocity below squared and so what we're looking for is um, and I'm going to call this delta p Oop. Let me see if I can get inside there. Delta P equals. Okay. The pressure difference is this. And so um, the lift force that we're after, we want that to be delta P times the area of the wing, which just needs to be equal to mg so that you're just at the point where you can lift off. Okay. Um, and we're going to take the velocity on the upper surface to be 35% larger than on the bottom. And we got the density of air, 1.29 kilos per cubic meter. So the question is, how do we get to what velocity do we need, right? And I'm asking for um, what velocity does need, the plane need to reach, right? What velocity does the plane need to reach? And I say take the velocity along the lower surface, VB, to be the same as that of the aircraft. So if VB is the aircraft velocity, VA is 1.35, right? Because we got 35% here times VB. Right? Right here, I give you 35%. Um, so 35% greater means 1.35 times VB is how big VA is. And so now we can get rid of VA because we've got, we've got what VB is and put all of this in terms of uh, VA. Get there. P is one half rho. All right, I'm going to use some big brackets here. Um, this is 1.35 VB squared minus VB squared. Okay. Um, and so, you know, and I'm going to, I'm going to do some algebra, one half row. And we've got in parentheses um, 1.35 squared minus 1 times VB, VB squared. So all I did was I factored out from this, I factored out VB squared, because you get 1.35 squared times VB squared minus VB squared. I factored out of VB squared, and so you've got these terms and, and, and that 1.35, remember that 35 comes from right there. All right, so you've got delta P in terms of VB squared. Um, you know delta P is the, the mass, I mean the weight of the plane over A, right? So I could solve this for I could solve this for delta P, I'm sorry, yes, delta P, if I could type, is the ma the weight of the plane over the area of the wing. That's delta P, weight of the plane over the area of the wing. And so now I know, um, I know delta P is mg over A. I know rho. Um, the only thing I don't know is this velocity of VB squared. And so I solve for VB squared. I take the square root. Um, and then I've got the velocity that the plane needs to reach in order to take off. 
All right, that's it for question nine.